Hello Garden. So welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone. So you're wondering if Haru 5 Star is actually worth pulling. We'll dive into that right away. Okay guys, so categories for pulling for her. First and foremost, she is going to be fun uh, to be used in PC and also for mobile. So I did, you know, I tried both. Uh, I do, I'm playing right now in PC, but definitely for mobile, she is going to be, not, her, her design basically is kind of suited for mobile, especially for her standard skill. Also for um, the gun that she's using, you have to use uh, more or less a, a 12 ammo gun. So that you could enjoy using her in um, in uh, what they call this in mobile, but more or less the skill um, itself is actually fun in mobile and PC. Secondly, um, if you are in need of a mob clearing op, definitely you will have to get her because um, most or some of the stages that we have are you know usually uh, incorporate uh, incorporates mobs or clearing dailies and everything so if you don't have if you don't have one um you now is a good time to be pulling for her so at this point um you can really invest in her if you don't have a uh, wild hunt she is going to be um the best investment for clearing mobs so Again, those are the things that uh, you should consider. But definitely, if you if you already have Wild Hunt like I have, it's not really a problem that you have them both. Uh, either of them can be used for a support operative. And also, guys, if you are free to play, again, now is the good time to invest in this um, this uh, operative because she checks a lot of boxes in terms of what we need and what we want. So also, if I may say, she is both waifu and she is going to be meta as well. So not a problem in terms of, you know, if you're, you know, if you pull just for waifu or for meta, she is actually both. So please make sure guys that you consider those uh, four things so far that I mentioned. And we will go further into other things that I think you should know before you pull for her. Okay, so we have Haru right now. Um, the other thing that I think you should consider if you're pulling for her is investing in her weapon. Although her, um, her specialized weapon or the weapon for her is not really going to be, you know, it's not going to be important to start. But eventually, you will have to have this weapon because there's an additional damage for each kill. So as you can see here, defeating a target gets a corrosion effect and increases attack by 4.2% for 5 seconds, max is 5. That is making her OP, by the way, especially in mob clearan, uh, clearing. But for bosses, this does not really take effect much because, again, bosses are only uh, 1. So in terms of mobs, this makes her mow down uh, bosses, especially if you want to consider this gun. There are other options for guns, which I will recommend in a separate video. So please look out for that. Uh, there was alignment. This you also have to consider because this gives her um, true damage once you can once you hit an enemy that has lower um lower uh, what do you call it hp than haru's attack by 32 percent the max of this is 40 and increases her ratio for every for her ratio her attack ratio uh for every 10 per, 10 10 percent for every 100 alignment so please make sure that you understand how she's going to be performing for you and how she's going to be OP. Again, both of those categories, the weapon and her Deus alignment would give her a lot of damage, especially for mob clearing, which will make her clear them like, like butter. So again, also, I just want to point out that not only does she, uh, that she is good for as a main DPS, but in terms of support, she is also um, 
she's also serviceable. I'm, I'm not kidding you, especially for if you unlock the neural skill when executory slash has a target, apply stun for three seconds. So this also helps, this gives additional um, stun to those enemies um, when hit by executory slash. So this is a maximum of three targets um, stun because the slash hits three times. So very, very nice uh, support skill again. Uh, she's not a one-way um, operative, but definitely she has capabilities as a support. And also, guys, if you failed to see her outfit, again, I think she is worth the investment, especially if you're, you know, if you're gonna have her as one of your main DPS, especially for mob clearing. Um, the outfit is also one that I think you should consider as well. Um, not kidding you, this is better than this one so with that being said let's talk about the downside of haru haru basically is for clearing mobs she excels at that but on the flip side she is average on bosses i'm not saying she does little damage she's average not really a high damage dealer for bosses but she is serviceable again i'm not gonna kid you i've done some play testing already and um again for her gun the gun definitely down the line if you don't have it now you will have to get it especially if you want to bump up her damage it's actually on the downside as well because again this will make her op uh sad to say you really need to get the gun for increased damage because her damage scales up as soon as you kill other mobs or other enemies and further you de you kill someone then you will have um a stack or increase in damage output okay so with that said um, i'm gonna take you guys to the stages that she is applicable in so first and foremost um she is playable in giga link she she's she's very good in she's very good in giga link for the purpose of clearing mobs but damage output uh, if you want to compete with the other dps i'm not sure because there's a boss at the end you might also have to deal less damage with the boss but again she's decent she's from the mid up to the upper tier in terms of damage for um giga link also guys you can actually play her in underground purge this is mainly for mobs and also for tactic evaluation the only stage i think that you can't bring her in is going to be neural simulation because this is purely for a boss okay and also don't forget you can bring her in the main story as well so that is it guys um before we end what do i think of her i think she's a must pull at this point um whether you're free to play whether you're a paying player She's definitely going to be OP once you build her um, to, to the max. If I can show you my build already, I'll do an extensive build guide um, um, after this video. So I have her at 80. Weapon is already this. I tried changing to other weapons. We have um, the others would be Star Ocean and Concrete Jungle. But we'll have to talk about that again in a different video. Logistics for now. I have her at uh, Twilight Squad, but this is not her ideal, what do you call this, ideal logistic. We'll have to talk about that again in a separate video. And Manifestation, again, um, just have to farm her um, in our daily farming. And also make sure that you unlock uh, her logistics because, again, this plays into her Davos alignment to increase her damage. So that is my short but sweet assessment of her she's a must pull guys she's op she's she is waifu she is meta and she is everything so hope that helped you decide whether you're going to be pulling for her so thank you very much guys for staying this far and guardians take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here